Before starting the session, just I want to ask you a few questions. This question may be puzzling. And many of the people, many intellectuals, philosophers try to think about all these questions, but very difficult to answer. On your screen, question is, what would be before God? Like everything we are starting with God, God is like a nodal point. Anything happen beyond our human capacity, we will just push on God. But before God, how God itself created, afterwards God has created the universe. It is a, some natural process or it is a, some uh, uh, cyclic time, time, timely process. What is there, the creation of God in different format? Whatever we believe or whatever mythologically acceptable in our society, it is very difficult to give answer. Any concrete answer we will not get. Next question, what is God? You ask any of the person, big, big person, or maybe any of the intellectuals, philosophers, scientists, it is very difficult to give answer. What is God? Next question is how God had been created this universe means which type of tool or technology God had used to create this universe because this is so vast, so robust and so time bounded. What I told so vast, so robust, so time bounded. Nothing is failing. Never you will you will feel sunrise is happening after one hour. Whatever stipulated time is there, exactly same time. Sunset is happening, okay. Aaj thora sa chutti hai, ek ghande late sunset hoga. Never. This perfect time bounded. Then how God had created this universe? This would be a long process. It could not be a one time process or single process. Something universe has created. It could be a long process. What process could be there to make this universe so robust, so complicated, still so timely bounded? This type of question, whenever you are getting free time, you can keep as a, your mind food. You think all these questions. This will give you a lot of intellectual idea how to understand about this world, how to understand about the universe and how to think any topic very properly. What is beyond God? We don't know. Most of the time, we will get the answer, we don't know. What is beyond Shiva? We don't know. What was before Shiva? We don't know. What will happen after death? Mystery. More than 80% more than eighty percent people are not believing in reincarnation. Means after death, again your birth will happen. 80% people on, on this earth, they are not believing. Hindu people are believing after death again you will take the birth based on your whatever uh, things you have not completed in this birth you will take again birth to complete that means whatever wish or whatever dream you have not fulfilled you will come back again to this earth to fulfill that this is again mythology we don't know concrete answer we can't give like a mathematics or quant this will be answer 25 or after death, this will happen, option D. It is all discussion point and thinking point for every person, every human being. If you want to develop your brain in multiple direction, you must think whenever, like this type of question, which are having open end, multiple dimension of thinking. What is beyond our universe? Beyond earth itself, a great difficulty. To know about, to know about earth itself, a great difficulty beyond our universe. I am not telling beyond earth, beyond earth. Maybe we know about the moon. We know about the Mars. We know about the sun or may we know about something about the solar system. Not much, very less. Whatever we know or whatever our scientific community knows, either scientific development or technical development or maybe through philosophy or religion. That is, you can say, very tiny part of real knowledge. What had before birth? All questions are puzzling. No concrete answer. None of the above. If we will give 1000 choice also, still it will be none of the above. Now, just will move forward. Why I am telling all these things? I am telling all these things to conceptualize, to understand the language and vocabulary. You will, you will realize why all these are important in next 10 to 15 minutes. Most of the questions, whatever I shown to the screen, if you will ask various type of people from various stream or various subject or expertness, answer can be two type, either nothing or we don't know. How God had created universe? We don't know. Before God, 
nothing was there or if nothing was there or we don't know mostly we will land up either we are going through all these logic scientific fact or maybe reasoning but finally we will land up in these two answers either nothing or we don't know means our journey is starting with we don't know and after death also we don't know means full life and this universe is between we don't know and actually nothing we know about whatever we know it is very tiny we start from nothing or we don't know if any time you are feeling or anybody feeling i i know too much we should think about this question then we will realize we don't know or nothing we don't whatever we know that is just a information that also may be correct or not correct because many of the scientific facts are challenged after few years whatever we believed 20 years before now it is challenged that fact may not be correct we don't know just move forward means basically we are starting with nothing and hindu philosophy this nothing is called shiva i am telling very conceptual idea if you will ask so many mahatma and uh, religious person also what is shiva it is very difficult to define this nothing is only shiva and this shiva only will break in two parts conscious mind and un subconscious mind and shiva is a universal unconscious mind due to conscious mind subconscious mind these two will come in the human mainly we are using conscious mind in the form of science reasoning logic subconscious mind who are very expert in any field they will try they will use it is difficult to use it is difficult to use but if we are able to use one or two percent also of subconscious mind that will be sufficient but finally this subconscious mind is a part of universal unconscious mind that is shiva due to we are telling in every human being part of god is there reason behind this or we can say every human is a god like it is a part of god okay i will not go in this uh, philosophical discussion we'll move forward from nothing only we have the pin point for understanding this universe is big bang theory this theory itself is challenged how you can understand this vastness of subject and vastness of the vocabulary related to this universal development big bang itself is challenged one section of the scientist they are telling it is not a big bang it is a collision of collision of two universe and based on the collision of two universe third universe is created now both are having the question mark if big bang is telling one single point it is a started everything like atom this point was like a one atom and from one atom everything is created this vast universe that much matter that, that, that much energy that itself challenge that much matter or energy how can be concentrated in one point or atomic particle difficult to decide we don't know we don't know or another theory is collision of two universe then question will come from where these two universes come first two universe was there it had collided and after collision our universe whatever we are living in this solar system that is created the question is these two universe how it was created when it was created who has created both of the things will be challenged i am just taking you to uh, to understand the vocabulary in very holistic way you will never get confusion in full life after maybe this workshop only you will never get confusion how to build book, how to build vocabulary in better way nothing to universe then again question is coming who has created god nothing to god god to universe means if we know or we hypothesize from nothing universe is created then question will come who is created then we are giving answer some mila jula answer god because we don't know wherever we don't know we'll just throw on the god god it is like a dust bin whatever beyond our brain capacity god knows that is one one kind of proverb we are using god knows then god has created this universe then god must come between nothing and universe creation means nothing to god god to universe creation or this is your big bang theory this is one small particle dimension you can see 3 into 10 to the power minus 25 cm if you are not a mathematics student also then you can understand how much tiny it will be we can't put a point also 
this point also will be bigger than this dimension and from here all visible universe what is dimension here 3 into 10 to the power 27 centimeter visible universe today whatever visible universe beyond that again we don't know this is called big bang theory another concept is there this only limited region big bang happen although i don't know why this word they are using bang bang means huge sound this explosion huge explosion if nothing was there space was not there medium was not there then how we can say it was explosion who has listened this and how how anything any person maybe just suppose if somebody would be there maybe god how he would be listen if medium was not there due to this name itself is challenging how people are telling or scient scientists are telling big bang but only imagination based on the hypothesis it was a big explosion they are telling big bang just will move forward little more patience needed from your side you you are you are thinking sir is teaching philosophy no i will come to the vocabulary and after all these understanding you will feel now understanding the vocabulary is easy collision of the two universe this is another theory what scientific community are believing question is how these two universe came who has created who and when again answer is ultimate answer god this is your big bang this small point has exploded in all the direction everybody if you will ask they will tell reason of the creation of universe is a big bang but how big bang happened or before big bang we don't know we have very limited scope of understanding very limited scope of understanding and hardly we are using one or two percent of our brain capacity hardly that much unlimited capacity we have rare of the rarest people are using who are able to connect their conscious mind to the subconscious mind it is like osmosis process if you are a biology biology student or if you are not a biology student little bit chemistry you know then conscious to subconscious it will be osmosis process this is a spongy type and this is your collision of two universe then third universe has come from where this has come from where this has come if this was there then maybe beyond this two universe another universe would be there if another universe would be there means how to count and how to how to guess or how to hypothesize the initial point of creation these are a lifelong thinking millions of people has thought but we are not getting concrete answer now means we can say in lump sum we are not going to now that point before god or these all just we want to summarize now if god was there or not there but we are believing god is there he has created the universe what consists in this universe a space and matter a space is there and matter is there how much space how much matter one golden universal rule is there at 20 i will discuss if he has created then what is the language of god like it was not a solo team it must be a team just suppose if you are winning something you are playing against any of the any of the team in sports or anything then you must have team like god also must be have team like if you are going hindu philosophy any of the philosophy always we will discuss in the group of the god means group of the group of the uh, group of the person or group of the uh, you can say divine person who has created how they used to communicate among each other what is the language of god if we will understand this one then only we will able to understand further this one this is your one religion is there taoism this is, they they are defined their philosophy all or nothing everything or nothing from nothing to everything everything to nothing this is only life and this is given like this if you are full happy then also some point of sorrowness will be there if you are a complete sorrowness some point of time you will be happy or you can say few percentage of your personality will be happy due to if we are too happy that time also aansu aate if we are in very difficult time that time also aansu aate this is the reason now this is your final universe this shape then what is the language of god silence silence is the language of god all else is poor translation that silence only we are translating in different different way or different philosophy or different scientific facts and logic 
and we are defining all the subject and all the curriculum but language of god is silence now we are coming to the little more nearer to our target universe is made of space and matter and this space and matter due to movement it is creating time another challenging question maybe einstein also tried to think but they, he was unable to think before big bang time itself was not there just try to think what is time einstein has told time is the fourth dimension three dimension we know three dimension we know 1d 2d 3d we know but fourth dimension is time what before big bang time itself was not there if time itself was not there then how to measure when universe is created when it has destroyed and what is the cyclicity of that it is again puzzling question again answer will come we don't know we don't know but anyway now i am coming little realistic picture where we can understand the thing we are coming out from we don't know we are coming in the zone of we know whatever we know universe is 80% a space and 20% only matter whatever heavenly but body we are seeing like in the form of planets or stars or any of the things that is only 20% 80% are blank space or you can say it is a nothing this 80 20 rule it is applicable universally and if you don't know this is one of the management principle also 80 20 anything we are doing always 80 20 will be applied nothing to 100% 100% 80% a space or nothing 20% only converted to matter i am not going in deep 